Hello my dear friends, my name is Harold and welcome to The Sanctum, your gateway into learning and experiencing the ancient knowledge of the East and West. Welcome to my public channel where in today's particular video I shall be sharing with you an extremely powerful magic word that can be used to make changes to your reality. So. And please make sure you watch till the end of the video so you can learn a little bit more about what this word actually is and how it works and where it actually came from and how it can be used appropriately to make changes to your reality. So, let's get right to it. From Lord of the Rings all the way to the Harry Potter franchise. Magical words are used to create changes to reality. In these particular movies, they're used to command the elements, to banish away evil forces, to bring forth powerful beings into existence. Have you ever wondered whether these movies were actually based on real life? Is it possible that there was actually ancient arcane knowledge that may have been lost over time or simply hidden from the public domain that actually incorporated the use of powerful magic words that can create changes to reality in some way. First of all, it's important to understand that the words that we use, the non-magical words that we use in our day-to-day -day life have an effect on our reality itself. Although I am going to be talking about specific words, first I'd like to talk about the words that we use in day-to-day -day life. Each word that we use, even in the English language, has a certain power to it. With the words that we say, we can influence somebody. We can influence their emotional state. For example, when we say something negative or so we hurt somebody with our words that creates a change in their emotional state of mind which may cause them to create some kind of change in their reality by carrying out a particular action in the same way if we say something loving to someone something encouraging to someone something empowering to someone that too changes their emotional state that leads to them maybe doing something that creates a change in their reality. So you can see even as we analyze words itself in our day-to-day -day communication, we are creating changes to reality just with the use of our words, especially with the very important body of work Dr. Masaru Emoto has done with water. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of this, where he took water and he said certain words to them and he froze the water and looked at the crystalline composition under a microscope to see the differences. When he said loving things to water, the crystals that were formed in ice were beautiful and intricate in nature. And when he said something negative to the water, the water crystalline structures were irregular and broken in nature. So you can see even with water, the power of words had an influence. And we as human beings are 72% water. So the words that we say to ourselves and even to other people are affecting the water within our body. So we can see even simply the utterance of a word is creating a vibration which is a form of energy and all of our reality itself is energy. And for that reason, this vibration can create a change in the vibration of the energy of our reality itself. Even in the Bible, that which created all of existence was a word, the Logos. The Logos is that creative word that gave manifest to all that is. So now, the magic word that I'd like to share with you 
is called a notaricon. The word notaricon comes from the Latin word notarius, which means shorthand writing. And essentially, a notaricon is a Talmudic and Kabbalistic sacred word that's created with the initial or final letters of a particular phrase. Okay, so essentially, it's like an abbreviated form of a powerful statement that has energetic power to it. So this particular word has a strong basis in Hebrew or Jewish mysticism and has the power to create change to reality. And this particular word is Ararita. Ararita. And this is a notaricon of this particular phrase. Echad, Rosh. Echadoto, Rosh. Ichudo, Temurato, Echad. You can translate this particular phrase in many ways in English. One particular translation is one is thy beginning. One is thy individuality. Thy permutation is one. So you can interpret this as stating that the ultimate nature of divinity is unitary in nature. It is stating that you are divine. It is stating that you are a reflection of the divine. All humans are. And that we are the microcosm to the macrocosm. What you are doing by intentionally vibrating this word is you are invoking upon the creative power of the one. The macrocosmic energy, you are bringing that within yourself to create like the one because you are a reflection of that one. Now, there's a particular method to actually use this magic word. One does not simply chant or vibrate this word. It's not going to do much to you or your reality. In order to use this, you have to first create a symbol or a sigil with your intention and then draw that symbol out while vibrating that word, thereby giving life to that intention and thereby allowing it to manifest in your life. Hence why even in movies, you know, in Harry Potter and stuff, they wave their wand like this. It's almost like they're drawing a symbol. It's the same in in various uh, other TV shows and movies. Whenever a magic word is said, there's always some kind of movement. It's almost like they're drawing a symbol to bring forth that energy to manifest. If you would like to know how to do this, I guide you step by step on how to create a symbol or a sigil with a particular intention which you want to manifest into your life and guide you how to use this word to empower this particular symbol and bring it to manifestation on my Patreon channel. There are over 65 videos of exclusive content on there on various topics, about 22 on this particular topic itself in relation to bringing forth a desire into manifestation of a spiritual or material nature. And you can't really find this information anywhere else. So if you wish to support this channel, after all, this is, as of 2024, an unmonetized channel. And if you are to support the growth of this channel, this would be an amazing way. So use this word responsibly and with reverence and respect. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Peace.